need to create a bootable USB drive, Linux Mint USB Image Writer makes it super easy. Let me show you how to do that. First, insert the USB stick that you would like to flash the ISO onto. Then open the menu, search for USB Image Writer and click to launch it. It will bring us a small window. Then select the ISO you want to use. Let's go ahead and quickly download the ISO file. For example, I'm going to go to the linuxmint.com, click on the download. You always want to download it from the trusted source. And let's go ahead and download it from the world mirror. And it will quickly download it. It's going to be about a minute. But I'm going to fast forward it so it doesn't take much time. Additionally, you can download the files for verification. For that, just click on the sha256som.txt and then select save link as and save it to the same download folder and do the same way for the sha256sum.txt.gpg save them all in the download folder so they're all downloaded now go back to the usb image writer and first select the iso image this is going to be linux mint then select the usb drive make sure to select the right one if you have a few of them then click verify and it has automatically inserted all the files so all you need to do is just click verify. There we go, that's easy. Everything looks good. This is an official ISO image. So always download it from the trusted source. Actually, it is so much easier to verify it on Linux than on Windows. If you wanna know how to verify it on Windows, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. It will be a bit more complicated process, but if you don't have Linux installed and you need to verify it before you install Linux Mint or flash it onto the USB drive, you can do that as well on Windows. Anyway, it's all ready to go, so just click right. But make sure before you click right, there is no important files on this USB drive as it will format the USB drive. All the information from the USB drive will be gone and you won't be able to recover it. So make sure there is no important files, no documents there. After you make sure you can go ahead and click right and it's going to ask you for your authentication password. So just enter the password and press authenticate. The flashing process usually takes a few minutes. In my case, the Linux Mint ISO image was flashed on the USB drive in about three minutes, which is not bad, doesn't take much time. Once done, you have a fully bootable USB drive to install or try out Linux Mint or any other ISO you have used. So that's very great, quick and easy, no extra tools needed. That's quick, easy and reliable. Hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more helpful Linux Mint videos. Also, if you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. But this is it for today. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.